Hey guys, so I got another gun to do a video on. So this is an Umbrella Corporation's M4. Now my brother purchased this in a mystery box and this was actually a really good, it's a really nice gun. I'm just gonna stay straight off. So um, I'm not really sure quite what it's OEM'd. When I take the receiver off, I can tell it looks exactly like a classic army. One of the classic army new guns. So I could be wrong. Somebody might want to correct me on this. In fact, I'm actually open to someone giving me some information on this gun. I'm not going to get all butt mad about it. But I did look it up. So I did some research. I'm not just going to jump into this. It's the Helios Umbrella Corporation. They retail from 284 to 290, depending on the length rifle. So we have the carbine version, which I believe is what this one is. Let's see what barrel length it is doesn't mention and I don't see it right off the bat 363 inner let's see what the rifle is see if it's longer it says 380 so it's a little longer so this one should be the carbine so 284 is what this one costs um, and then they have an SBR which is 280 so if you want one for indoor there you go perfect and I'm guessing it's a 10 inch barrel what's the inner barrel length 260 so pretty cool that they have multiple different barrel lengths. As far as internals, I click on the pictures here. Low profile precision 8mm bearings. Um, Sima quick change spring system, which is interesting why they call it Sima. Not sure if Sima does the externals for this maybe. I don't know. And then more internals. Obviously you can see that blue piston. It is a blue metal rack piston with an aluminum piston head and, a, and an aluminum cylinder head really nice pictures of the inside of the gearbox look really nice too i mean i can see these are pretty reinforced um and then in the description i kid you not in the description it says 13 to 1 steel gears high speed 13 to 1 right there so this might be one of the only stock guns that you can buy that come with high speed gears now, and I say this because some companies say that 16 to 1 gears are high speed. To your average tech, people that are experienced like I am in the teching world, don't consider 16 to 1s high speed, because they're not. 18 to 1s and 16 to 1s are like mid. They're like in the middle, and then you have high torque, and then you have higher speed, which is 14 to 1, 13 to 1, 12 to 1, 10 to 1, um, in all different brands. But if this really does have 13 to 1s, that's pretty incredible. And now that I'm looking at it, it does say Sima on the gearbox shell. So, scratch it being Classic Army. I mean, you tell me, Classic Army's new guns come with MOSFETs, though the trigger does feel a little different because I do have one of the, the Classic Army MOSFETs and a gun upstairs. The tr switch does feel a little, little different. And I guess now that I look at it, the shell kind of is a little different too. So maybe this is Sima straight up OEM, uh, which is nice because these retail for, again, just under $300, about $280, $290, and you're getting a lot bang for your buck in this gun. And let me go over all that stuff um, a little bit later for the internals. We'll start with the externals first because it's pretty impressive out here. So the stock here has Ambi sling mount, QD sling mount. It's obviously adjustable little trap door here easy to get to very easy i love this stock i am going to be using an 11.1 1000 milliamp this is a 20 to 40 c good power for this gun that's what i would run in this for sure i'm actually going to plug it in when you do plug it in the mosfet actually chimes at you like that so newer sima guns are coming with these mosfets and they're pretty good some of their um Cheaper guns do not have good motors. Like I, uh, my brother got one of their A, um, what SR47 AK mags, looking just like this, except it had plastic body, and again used the AK mags, and it fed like crap on full auto. But it did have the same MOSFET that this had, and that was a marketed as Sima as well. So maybe these are just straight up Sima now. So if anyone has any input on uh, the new Sima internals, it seems that this is OEM Sima, unless. Classic Army is building these and putting Sima on them, which I highly doubt. So it's kind of an interesting mix-up on this gun, but it's a very well-rounded gun. 
Moving forward, we have a metal buffer tube and then an ambi sling mount on the back. We have the Umbrella Corporation pistol grip, which is a little thick, but it's still comfortable. It's got the back strap, kind of like a Magpul. A lot of people like that. Safe semi full auto with some cool logos. And then the logo, the Umbrella logo there. And you see over here, Umbrella Corporation. What is it? Virginia Beats. Virginia, Virginia Beach. Virginia. And then AR-15. I think that's a little cringe, if you ask me. Um, the, how they put AR-15 when AR-15s are the civilian versions of the M4s and M16s, which is semi to only. I mean, that's what me and you can own. But they put AR-15 on an airsoft gun that has full auto. Okay. <laughs> Metal flip-up sights, really nice, to be honest. They click into place really good, but you just got to flip them up. No buttons to hit. But very nice for out of the box. Pop a red dot on here. Uh, and then it has a M-Lock rail system with QD mounts on both sides. M-Lock um, lengthwise, I'm guessing 12 inches. And this is probably, eh, it's probably, yeah, probably 12, 13 inches on the rail. And then it comes with this flash hider, um, which is pretty cool. You just got to take the orange tip off and it looks much nicer. <laughs> Other features, forgot to say, bolt lock works. Metal hop-up unit with a bucking and barrel. This is totally stock. I have not messed with any of it. Um, I did, well, okay, so I had to switch out the wheel on the hop-up unit because the one that comes with it's crap. It was really, really loose. So, again, I had to fix something out of the box. Surprise, surprise. Piece of crap Chinese gun. Um, but uh, this isn't a piece of crap Chinese gun. It actually is a great gun. Um, but the hop-up is definitely lackluster for sure. It is metal, but the wheels are just very loose, and I hate these standard TM styles. I hate them. So to dry fire it, it does pre-cock. The MOSFET that is in here pre-cocks, which is really interesting. Um, it's probably just the voltage of the battery. This does come with a neomagnet motor. I can confirm that. Is it really, really strong? Not really. I stuck a, a, a screwdriver to the grip and it stuck, but not crazy good. I can kind of tell maybe like a Crytac 30K, like those strong magnets, nothing like ASG or um, SHS, but very snappy, very snappy, especially with the pre-cocking. And then full auto, shoots pretty quick. So about 25 rounds a second, maybe it does have a 13 to 1 gears, and then a high torque motor. All right, we got it loaded up with .2s. Going to put it through the chrono. 377, 379, 377, 376, 377, 376, 371. Pretty consistent, 376. It's pretty good. Uh, 1.31 uh, joules with .2s. Slightly overhop. Let's try rate of fire. 25.1 so there you go 25 rounds a second out of the box which is pretty impressive that also made me think that this was a classic army because they've been doing just their 18 to 1 gears with a high speed motor and they get about the same performance and the shell looks the same color that's where it goes off and the reset is nothing it's just like your average nice mosfet but i don't think it i think it does have a delay Maybe not all that much, but see how I'm like spamming it and it's not quite doing it. Kind of like the classic armies. That also kind of made me think it was a classic army because of that. Almost all the way hop with two fives. And it shoots pretty dang straight. It shoots really good actually. The biggest thing is just the hop up, but the gear boss is running just great auto Should do a pretty short burst but there's some skipping if I go to really do a dump it's not bad Now, I can tell this mag holds a lot as well. Um, it's probably upwards of dang near 200, I believe. But I put about 140 in here just now. Seems to feed on semi. Battery might be dying. 
kind of weird. I charged it not too long ago. Actually, like last night. Is it hot? No? Not really. Maybe a little warm, but not hot. Well, uh, let's have you see the view. The stock mag seems to feed. And again, that was chronoing 25 rounds a second. So I'd say if you buy this gun and you want to use mid caps, buy the mid caps that come with it. I don't know what they're marketed as, maybe Sima, because it is an OEM Sima gun. I don't know. But these mags are fantastic. Either that or just run standard high caps through it. So yeah, it does have a quick change spring system though, so you can change that. So if you get the short one and it's shooting 365 and your field's 350, swap it out. But there are a lot of indoor fields that allow 365 with an AEG or even 370. Um, and some even 380s with .2s for uh, AEGs. So a lot of fields would allow this anyway. Definitely recommend it. I'm going to shoot a high cap through it here just to uh, play around with it. But it has my seal of approval. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Again, recap, it's shooting about 25 RPS at about 380 with a .2. And range-wise, I didn't mention that with two five, probably 180 maybe 200 probably 200 with 25 yeah i would say so thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video